in today's video is going to be a type of video that I never thought that I would be making because I'm not this type of person. What's up you guys, it's me Mary, and today's video is going to be a type of video that I never thought that I would be making because I'm not this type of person, but I just, I want to put this on YouTube and have it out there because I'm honest to God, it, like I'm honestly just confused, like my mind, I feel like my mind is working kind of strange, I don't know, like I just don't understand what's going on right now, like okay, so this video is going to be about Chris and Queen. Chris and Queen are um, are a couple channel. They normally they just do like lifestyle lifestyle videos, vlogs, you know, pranks and stuff like that. You know, the basic couple, you know, the things that couple channels do. I don't know. Some people will say it's a rumor. It's clearly not though. Like you clearly can see that it's true. Like so, Chris and Queen have been selling iPhones, right? And they're getting people to send them the money for the iPhones, and they'll never send the freaking iPhones out. This is how, like, how big these people's egos are. Like, they are literally freaking openly saying, oh, yeah, put the, um, put the money into this guy's name, into their friend's name. And then they're sitting over there, and they actually vlog them picking up the money that people are sending them for an iphone that they've never received you're vlogging yourself doing this so people know you're getting their money you're picking it up with the guy you're putting it in his name because clearly you've probably done this before you're probably you've probably scammed people before and you're picking up the freaking items that pe other people are paying their hard-earned money for you're picking up their stuff and you're not even freaking sending these phones out and you're so freaking conceited people are going to be loyal to you that's how you know that they just are so cocky like you're actually recording yourself picking up money for an iphone that you've never sent out to the person i'm just going to explain the process so they so what they do is they'll you know post online yeah i'm selling an iphone and they'll put it as a really cheap price and people will like be like oh i'm interested in buying the iphone dm them or whatever and like you know they'll talk it over they'll give them the information for the thing and they'll tell them to put the money into his friend's name they'll tell them to put the money into his friend's name and then they'll go ahead and the person that's buying the iphone will put the money in the friend's name and i guess um western union it or something like that i don't know they're doing something like that they're sending the money out and then they'll be like hitting up chris and queen like um hey i paid for an iphone that i've never received like and like you know they just they'll either block them or they won't reply to them and then they'll be like people hating on us they just hating they just mad da -da -da -da. they just they just trying to bring us down people is liars da -da 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 -da. when they have proof that you have been dm dming them and you don't judge me because one hand is done one hand is not because just don't check me <laughs> but yeah like they have proof that you you gave them all the information to get the money you know that you it was actually you talking to them they have proof that you were actually selling the iphone you were actually talking to them and that you were actually um that you actually gave them the information to um receive the iphone the, oh yeah not to mention they also have proof of you picking up the money with the guy that you told them to put the name of the money in. like you know they have proof of you doing all of this all of this proof and yet and still you're still calling them liars they have dms and screenshots to prove that it's actually you talking to them they have video footage of you picking up money with the guy that you told them to put the name in which obviously is super suspicious and then not to mention that's another thing the guy that they're telling the guy that they're putting the name in they're probably breaking him off a little bit of money but he's a young boy he's only 18 he's clearly you know he's just like oh money money he's like he's clearly a young 18 year old who just wants some extra money and he's offering him money so he's gonna be like oh yeah you can put it in my name as long as you break me off 
and he's breaking them off which is wrong like it's just wrong like i'm trying to bring this boy down with y'all if y'all ever get caught like that's just wrong i'm mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. but yeah you are still trying to convince people that this is legitimate like how does that even make sense like why would you even do this to people that support you and then i seen this one screenshot that literally made me so sad and it made me so mad and this guy he's like hey um i bought an iphone for you and from you and i haven't received it and i know that people are giving you guys a lot of hate you know they're saying that you guys are scamming people but if you guys send me the iphone I will vouch for you guys and I will tell them that I was one of the people that actually received the iPhone and that this isn't a scam and that you guys aren't doing this for people like please like um I'm struggling like I um I work hard for my money I um $300 is like a lot of money or however much like the amount of money that they bought the iPhone for is like a lot of money to them because they work hard for their money it doesn't matter if it's $90 or fifteen hundred dollars or eight hundred it does not matter like somebody worked for that money that was money that somebody had to go to work to get just because they sit in front of a camera all day and make their money by doing that does not give them a right to freaking sit there and scam people who have to go out and work hard for their money that's not cool like and it just makes me mad because the person was like legitimately like i was a fan of you guys i just you know i like that's money that I worked hard for like that's a lot of money to me like I'm you know and it's just like they just still don't even care like if somebody emailed me like that I would just be like dang it like now I gotta give the freaking money back because I would just feel bad and I just couldn't see myself doing that to anybody especially with such a big platform like you are on such a big platform like you have they're close to a million subscribers and i believe they have about eight thousand eight hundred thousand subscribers they are so close to freaking having a million subscribers that means close to a million people are looking up to you guys and they're seeing this type of stuff like wh what do you do? what would you need to do that for like if you have all these subscribers and i'm pretty sure they get um sponsorships and stuff like that like what do you need to scam these hardworking people out of their money for like you know you make enough money like we know you make enough money to support your family but you feel like you need an extra 300 dollars for what though it's like for what like that's dumb it's not right and it's so 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 greedy oh my god it's so greedy like, a lot of these youtubers really need to humble themselves like people are honestly god out here struggling for money you're over here scamming people like people are going to freaking work making minimum wage having to support families and you don't see them out here doing that they're still being legitimate people and here you are editing and recording and stuff like that is a hard it's you know it takes a lot of time but it's like some people will die to do that and make a, a living off of it be able to make a living off of freaking recording videos like you 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 have life so easy right now and like you're over here trying to take people's money from them take hard working people's money for them and the thing that makes me mad is the fact that they still have 800,000 subscribers i want to know who's subscribing to these people like who who is honestly still supporting these people liking their videos commenting i love you like why maybe they haven't seen it maybe they haven't seen it <laughs> maybe they need to go watch martin lewis video on these freaking scammers because it's real nobody's just hating on them nobody's just trying to bring them down no y'all are really out here scamming people hard-working people and it's not cool i just don't understand how somebody can believe them like i understand you like them i understand you look up to them but it's like when you have proof on top of proof on top of proof on top of proof that pe these people are scamming people why would you still support them and people that just makes me mad it's like it's like what type of mindset do you have to have to, to support somebody who's scamming people like this like like people have the type of mindset oh they're not scamming me so i don't care and it's like it's just wrong it's not right it's like who cares if they're not scamming you like they're still scamming somebody D and B nation are bad because they lie to their subscribers they lie to people who absolutely love and adore them and look up to them and be in the comment section cussing people out for them but chris and queen D and B nation has nothing on chris and queen they are a million times worse than D and B nation
Mm, let me not. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Actually, okay, in some, mm, in a way, they they kind of equal. They're kind of equal because Chris and Queen, they scamming people, actually taking money out of people's pockets. But DMB Nation, they're just lying their subscribers to get views that way. But at the same time, they have that lame, that super duper corny DMB University. You know, they're lying to people, trying to make it seem like, you know, they're going to help you get 2 million subscribers in 8 months. Like, yeah, right. They're probably going to be up there telling you some type of tricks like, <laughs> use tags. <laughs> and like, do a little bit of clickbait. Your thumbnail is interesting. No, nigga. What you need to be saying is, a lot of your subscribers do fake pranks. Okay, this is... See, look, this one got out of hand. Here I am talking about DMB Nation and this is about Chris and Queen. But they are all scammers. Both of them are scammers. And honestly, I don't know if Queen, because I have, oh, okay, let me be a thousand percent real. I've never watched the Chris and Queen video inside of my life. I've never watched one until after I heard about them scamming people. And I went on their page to see how many subscribers they had. And they had about 800,000 when I went up there, which was probably about a week or two ago. And, um, yeah, like, I, um, went on their page and I had watched the prank video that he, she did. It was like, um, I was texting my ex prank or something like that, but, yeah, I don't know, but, yeah, like, I can't say if this is accurate or not, but I kind of think that this is really Chris scamming people and Queen is just, you know, supporting her boyfriend or whatnot, because, um, if you look at it, if you look at the, um, the vlog where they went to go pick up that money queen wasn't in the store picking up the money it was chris and his friend yeah and then like the people they be saying that they were talking to chris but i'm pretty sure queen knows exactly what he's doing because if they're i don't know i believe they're married or they just date but whatever y'all live together y'all pay bills together you know what i'm saying like you know what he's doing you know he's scamming people and y'all know it's not right i honestly believe in karma i really do believe in karma and i think that um Chris and Queen is gonna definitely get what's coming to them um, for stealing these people money. They definitely are gonna get what's coming to them. And when they do, just go ahead and record this video. And you know, use it as proof that I am a prophet. <laughs> just kidding. No, but for real though, like, they can get what's coming for them because you don't do that to people, the hardworking people that support you. Like, come on now, the reason that they're buying this phone from you is because they would never think that somebody with 800,000 subscribers would be over here trying to scam people for $300. Come on now. It don't make sense. Like, I just, I can never get into my mind, like, what makes you do that? Like, what makes you think that's okay? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. No, it's not just me. It's, it's just, like, who does that? Like... It don't make sense to me. I, I will never understand. People trust these people and like, you know, they would never expect somebody that, but that's like, that's like Domo and Chrissy selling some baby clothes and not sending the baby clothes out. Knowing they making good money. No, we see how you living. So we know you making good money. So why are you scamming people? Like, that's like, it's like you would never expect a big YouTuber to do that to you, especially somebody that you look up to, somebody you think is so real, like, and it's so funny because it be like the hood YouTubers, you know, the YouTubers that came from the hood, like, you know, they should be more humble. They know how it feels to have to work at a McDonald's or freaking Little Caesars or something like that to get their coin. Like, they know how that feel. So you would think like, you know, they, they would value money a little bit more. Mm -mm, nope. Mm -mm, it just don't make sense. But yeah. I'm just gonna end this video right here because I am honestly getting truly irritated. So let me stop talking about this situation before I say something that I regret. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And please feel free to share our channel to keep us growing. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and supporting me. Please just share to help us grow and whatnot. And yeah, this look was from the get ready with me. I just did, except I just brushed my hair a little bit more. Um, and then I put on a hat and that's it. But yeah, see you guys later. Like you gotta go to school looking like James Brown. Like.